Alright, everybody, this is Zeph, and I'm going to do a new tutorial here if I can uh, remember how. I'm a little rusty on this. I've just got a request from someone the other day asking for me to do a more in-depth tutorial on how that I am making the textures um, for retexturing a mesh kit. So, what I want to point out, when you get a mesh kit, you will find that uh, most of the time they've given you a finished product will look like this. This is what you're, you know, they're giving out. It's like green dotted dress template. And um, you'll be looking for the displacement file or the shadow map file. It usually looks like this. This is for your wrinkles and stuff and your shadows. You will need that file and your finished product one most of the time. You don't really need this, but it helps sometimes especially if you're trying to keep things like your buttons intact um, and then you will need your own fabric file of some sort um, I've chosen this crazy floral one here I have no idea how this is going to look in world so you'll have to bear with me as I find out what happens is you'll take this first one as your main layer you will make a new layer. You will go down to the shadow map one that I mentioned. I usually take and make it uh, in color, color to alpha. And that's making all of the white alpha and just leaving me with a shadow, which looks something like this. Most of it's alpha. I take and uh, edit copy and then I'm putting it in this layer here now then it is on there it's a little bit it really made the shadows really dark but you're not dealing with the double shadow <clears throat> you'll make a new layer on top of that and put it in between these two. Grab yourself a copy of your fabric that you have chosen. And make sure on that layer. And paste it on there. Now you can see where the shadows are going to fall on your dress. Um need to anchor that in. Now, what I usually do, I'm going to come in down here. I will make this semi-transparent for a moment so I can see where it is. I'm going to cut out these buttons. And I don't really know what this is. I think it's part of a belt buckle. Um, I'm going to cut that out too. No, it's green. Never mind that. It ended up being green. Alright, now I'll bring my fabric back up. So that's basically how it's going to look before you... Um, sometimes your shadows are too dark on this layer, um, especially if you're using white fabric. Um, some of the... F um, you'll like, get these really bad underarm dirt looking stains. If, if the shadows are too dark, turn them down. If they are uh, fine the way they are, then leave them. I would say that's good enough for a test. Uh, we will. I'm going to go ahead and export this as a um, to dress and it's on my desktop yay for me and there it is on my desktop so I will go into Second Life and show you what it looks like on the actual model see if we done all right okay back in world here this is the dress um, resed on the ground, and um, we're going to go into the texture tab. 
and um, I'm going to choose local. And I'm going to find the dress that I made, tutorial dress, and say slap that on there. And what happens, I got a lot of alpha blending problems because I have used alpha in the making of it. So take that off. I'm thinking, this is the finished product as it would have been. I think I would have liked to have uh, maybe made the belt a different color. Um, that would have been fairly easy in, um, in your uh, GIMP just by slapping um, black or something uh, belt leather up here in this area where the belt is. And then in world it'll have that belt. Um, I'm thinking the shadows are kind of weak on this one. Um, usually it's the opposite for me. I get really strong shadows. Maybe it's because it's the uh, melly ones are. Anyway, that's how I've done some of them. Um, if it's a t-shirt or something, I just slap a transparent um, decoration on the front of the shirt, etc. It's not rocket science. Um, I think that one would be a decent dress. I would probably get in there, maybe texture these different, and um, the belt different. If I was going for style. Anyway, I hope that helps someone. I'll probably try to do another one in the future. Stay tuned to my channel if you are interested.